Hello and welcome, Virgo friends. How are you today? I hope well. Well, today we're working on your clairvoyant alchemy reading for April 2017. We are entering the second quarter of this year, so much to come. And I'm introducing two new decks to the table, the Wild Unknown Tarot, which has been coming through very swiftly. And I have to add, for March, it, what came through was the Magician and the High Priestess all over the place, okay? So, and, and, and for the Fire Signs in April, the same thing. High Priestess, the Magician, and I do want to, uh, I, I usually share this information on my monthly readings, but I just have to bring it in. For the April, May uh, month, I just delivered the Taurus uh, moon. And wow, what a great reading they received. It was all about winning, <laughs> winning in the money. And they are about money and possession. So it was like awesome. But I have to highlight how the magician is here. And Taurus also earth moon, uh, earth sign in the respect with the goddesses being uh, revered and Venus. In La Casa here, okay, so it's been, it, their reading was very, very beautiful. So I am looking forward to what's going to happen for your reading, okay, because this is a powerful month, this planting moon. Here we are, the fourth month of the year, April. It's a planting moon, so think about what you want to plant in your mind, in your soul, in your heart, okay, in your ground, in your grass, or, you know what I mean, in your, in your garden, okay, so just know. I just wanted to highlight how Venus, the love, beauty, and development goddess, uh, you know, who, who adores us so much, she literally is strong right now. So, you know, benevolently embrace her and know that um, she's bringing forward some magic because I tell you, the Taurus had some magic delivered. Uh, it was really, even for me, who's... Dropped a thousand videos on this YouTube. It's like, yowza. It was wonderful. It was it was electric, okay? And here we are, April 2017. You know, and April Fool's is the first day where people get a little loco and, you know, try. To, but that's okay. We have April Fool's. And then the ninth, for those of you, you know, you're aware I was raised Catholic. I did it all. You know, the baptism, the communion, the confirmation. Everything got married in a Catholic church, uh, it's just how it was. But here we have for April on the 9th, it's Palm Sunday, and then we have this full moon in Libra, air sign Libra, which is also coming on Passover. And then we have on the 16th, it's Easter Sunday, and uh, I like since I've been on the YouTube, I, I do a special reading for. It's Easter Sunday for Jesus. And last year, actually, <laughs> the decks that I use, they're the Templar decks, uh, both Jesus. He Jesus was the magician, actually. Jesus is the magician in this deck that I am speaking of. And, and Mary Magdalene also came through. And Mary Magdalene in the deck is the high priestess. So it was, it was, a very awakening time for me because you know, I do believe Jesus is my Lord and I being raised by Jesus hanging on the balls everywhere and Archangel Michael you have to understand Mother Mary statues that's how I was raised yet I'm my own woman today but however I believe that Jesus is here as a supernatural warrior and we're gonna we're gonna feel some wondrous things coming, okay? And I also want to talk about on April 20th is that 420 code. And please, people, let us get this hemp marijuana deal, okay? I believe in anything that's grown by Mother Earth is positive, okay? In the respect that you don't abuse, I have to bring it in because the CBD oil I'm learning much of. I have a friend who has brain cancer and I think she should be on the CBD oil, the cannabinoids. Okay, hemp. But anyway, so hemp, marijuana, whatever it is called, please let us not allow our young children being in prison for a joint, okay? 
Let, let's not do that anymore. Let, let's get real, people. Let's, let's get in the love factor, okay? So that's my 420 deal. But then on Saturday, 422, for my Earth sign, Virgo, let's get outside, okay? Let's get outdoors because it's Earth Day. And look, 422, right? 422. So it's a code. 4 and then 2 plus 2 is 4. So we've got two 4s now. Those are angel numbers, okay? So let's make something work there, okay? And then there's a new moon in Taurus so uh, on the um, 26th. So Taurus, Taurus had a great reading. I, I have to, I'm, I'm repeating myself because it was like, what? <laughs> Triumph, victory, money. It was everything. It was like, wow, beautiful, beautiful. So let's see what happens for you, my darling Virgo friends. And actually, I'm looking forward to this reading because my moon sign is in Virgo. So let's see what happens for us, okay? Okay, I have the first card. And this, these are brand new decks, so they're still kind of sticking. So I got to... Okay, let's take an exhale out for the moment and, and get grounded here. And look forward to what's going to come forward. That card. Oh, goodness. Exhale slowly. Wow, that card just wanted to come through. Okay. Let's see. So that came from uh, the unknown tarot. And now this is the tarot Musha. I like this no boo look. I like it. And I'm also working for the Earth element sign uh, with the Witches Tarot, okay? Because we want to get grounded with Mama Sita. So to get grounded with Mama Sita, we gotta call on the Brujas. <laughs> Okay. Lovely. Okay. And I have my new dragon incense holder. <laughs> He's cute. All right. So green for earth. I'm going to, I think I'm, I, I used, I like my, old candles, but I think I'm going to work with more of these spell candles uh, for each sign for the clairvoyant alchemy readings. So we're working with Earth, Virgo, many blessings, uh, April, beautiful month, okay? And actually I have a little elemental garden blessing because actually this is a little orchid I have. I didn't know if she was going to make it because this winter was crazy. And here in Florida, we had some, we had like back-to-back -back storms and hurricane and everything. It was crazy. So here, she's telling me, and she, I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. But and my plumeria also also growing. So it's beautiful. And I, this house has many of these trees in different colors. So we'll we'll bring those out. And I, actually, I went and bought that just for the April for the blooming of the northern hemisphere here in. Where I live in Florida, you know, everything's about, it's blooming. It's about to bloom and blooming, so it's beautiful. So get outdoors if you can, wherever you live, okay? And my darling Virgo, you are all, you, we are a mutable sign, just like Pisces. Uh, my sun sign is Pisces, a mutable sign as well. And it's, as a mutable sign, your sign is the third and final month within each season. And the role for these signs is to prepare for the transition to the next season and their traits are commanding flexibility and destructions okay so we are a mutable sign virgo four of wands 
Ooh, that sounds fun, right? Okay, that sounds fun. Hold on, let me open up with this elemental garden blessing. By the powers of the fertile earth, this garden I will bless. With the gentle April breezes, I add happiness and zest. The sun's bright fire will help these plants grow strong and true, while the soft rains of spring nourish plants both old and new. Okay? Beautiful. So now here we have it. We have the four, and you know I love my fours with that stability and that good supply. And here we have the fire is here as well. So the four and fire is suggesting to us that Let's let's have some strength of mind, okay? Let's have some mental stability and peace, okay? Mental stability and peace. So it's like you almost want to go in, see this image, you see? It's like you want to go in to that um, intuition, brow chakra, that blue, you know, in the respect, and communicate right. You want to communicate and you want to communicate through your intuition is what I'm trying to say, okay? So just believe. Believe in what's coming, okay, my darlings? Be strong in your mind. No fears. No more fears. Remember, I just I found this in it, out that in the Bible it reads, a, you know, a quote from God in the respect that I did not give you fear, okay? So we've been talking about that. Because we know Diablo is the one who's involved with all that. And I believe Diablo has been before God. So watch. Prepare. This is a beautiful time for us to go within and love. Look how beautiful. <gasps> Boy, look at this. The ten of coins on the table. Yes, yes, yes. How wonderful. A large amount of money. <laughs> Okay, a large amount of money. Might not be all your money, but <laughs> but yet the resources are here. It's bounty, okay? Things can be coming for you. Even the people with the money might be providing for you, okay? This is a win-win right here. This is when you know no more worries. And even even if I'm saying this isn't your money, the money is going to come to you from sources that love you, okay, that it, it wants you to have this, okay, this. Okay, so here we have some stability, and then we have the ten of coins saying yes, you know, fire, earth, all right, so pay attention. Maybe light a candle, and if any of you are going through some scenarios about the money, Good, bad, or ugly, light a candle, light a green candle, and make sure that uh, you pray to Mother Earth for resources to come for you. But but there's someone here or some association with money that can provide for you as well, if you don't have your own coin. Oh, look at this. Stay determined. How fabulous is this? Stay determined. Do not give up on you. The chariot has arrived. Major Arcana. Okay, number seven. And this is all about being psychic protective. Okay, this is being so determined that you have the defenses. You know, yourself. You yourself. You know, you have to balance this chariot with the two animals that are the ones you're reining. Right? You're reining in. Or if you've ever ridden a horse, you know, and, and raced a horse. You know, you, you are in charge of the horse. But yet the horse can, you know, throw you off. The horse can do whatever it wants to do unless you take determined charge of it. So this is why we have to do that now, okay? And triumph uh, came through the fire signs in case you have fire in your chart. Um, trust, triumph came out with the, with the wands, fire, six, two, six, <laughs> two sixes of wands came through. Triumph. And now here, this is what I'm suggesting for you, to triumph on, okay? Triumph on in victory. But you have to keep, what is it? The balance, okay? It's all about the balance. We know there's light in this wonderful world, and we know there's darkness in this wonderful world, and that's known as the balance. It's never going to change. 
However, however, we can make our own personas change, okay, when we believe in ourselves. So stay determined. Stay determined. Look at that beautiful major arcana coming through. Wow. Hold on. I'm going to burn the table here. <laughs> These, these really burn nice. These are the Nag, nag Champa uh, incense. That's the only incense you should burn, Nag Champa. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Who do we have here now? The Knight of Swords. Again, this is a new deck for me, so all these images are brand new. The Knight of Swords is here. How cool is that? The Knight of Swords is known as the spiritual initiate, and you see how they gave him wings, okay? Um, this is powerful light here. This is when you're going to, you know, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Air, is all about that mental thinking. And sometimes people think too much and don't come from their heart and make wrong decisions, okay? Now, this Knight is also an example of that in the respect that he could, you know, sort of be like the rip-off kind of personality, you know, because he, he's just trying to mind you and get to you. However, we think bright light on this channel, so we're going to move forward with the spiritual initiate, and we're going to gain a new philosophy of life and get out of the dark now, okay? Beautiful. Wow, I like these images. I really do. Okay, so let's see what, what the witch's tarot has to say. Oh my lord, look at that. Major Arcana 20. Judgment Karma. So truly, my friends, see, we were just talking about how this one card, you know, as all strong cards, it, it all has a balance to it. But here we, we were just sharing how, you know, this knight can also be a little more of the, you know, a BSer <laughs> of his, you know, talking his own crap. But however, here we have the karma now coming through. And my Virgo friends, you know, our mantra is I analyze, I analyze. So always make sure you, you feel it out. You, you intuitively feel things out. People places, things, whatever it is, feel it out, okay? But here we have judgment coming. So we know that there's an intensity coming up here, and it could be an upheaval. But mainly with the upheaval, we transmute it, we transform it, okay? And that's what we do. So there, that's when the healing comes. But you have to be strong. You have to have, you have, to have your guides and your higher forces with you. No doubt about it. It's like you have to bring in the hidden power within you and your guides. And that's what we do. Okay? All right? So, and you can see there's like an eclipse happening here. It's so powerful, this judgment card. But it's really, it's about you now doing the balance. Okay? You have to balance. Did you see that card just pop like that? Did you see that? How did that happen? I don't know, but stand strong. Stand strong. Okay, there's no reason for this not to be a beautiful, you know, mental aptitude. Go for it. You see, he's holding the Excalibur sword, you know, straight up. So I think he's going to do justice here. He's got his angel wings on. But we, we always try to talk, you know, the balance on this channel because there is beautiful goodness and angelics. Oh, boy. Oh, the angels are like big time talking to me like we want you to do special videos just for us now because <laughs> I have so many angel decks. And so I'm working on it. Once this house is done, I will. Look at this. Celebrate. Celebrate. Look how beautiful. You know, this is strange. Not strange. Not strange. This is not strange. This is so cool. I begged the table for this card to show. I really did. Because uh, I really like this um, this Witch's Tarot deck. I, I truly do. I like the images and everything. And this little card, for some reason, out of all these images in this deck, is one that I just favor. And I did. I truly did. And here we have Virgo, you know, my moon sign. I was like, let us have celebration for Virgo. 
That's exactly what I asked the table. And look what came through for us. Isn't that beautiful? And then here we have the judgment card making us know about, you know, that's Virgo is my moon sign. So just pay attention to Luna, my Virgo friends. Okay. No doubt about it. And, you know, we are communicators in the respect, you know, we're ruled by uh, Mercury. So we have this in, this, these powers to assimilate and we do, we, we do discriminate. Okay. We, we do analyze. I don't want to say we're critical about it because I try not to be critical. I try to be open-minded. I always do. However, there's sometimes we have to put, you know, stop to the nonsense. Okay. But look, not now, not today. We're going to celebrate today. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make our, our earth sign wonderful. Look at that. Standing strong in celebration. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and I have another new deck, Oracle deck, which is called Blessings. 64 ways to be thankful. Gratitude cards. So I'm going to select one. And I got a, the, the last one that came from Taurus, in case you have Taurus in your charts, or a beloved is a Taurus was safe and secure. And I'll just read it because it was very sweet. It was very kind. The heart of God holds all in safety. In times of separation from those I love, I remind myself that all of us are held safely in the heart of God. I ask God to touch those I love with healing grace and compassion. Okay, I thought that was beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to turn my head because I can see, see there, like I can see that, so I can't look. So I'm going to turn my head. We're going to pick one card for you, Virgo, but... Most definitely, my darlings, you know what to do, okay? You, you are, you, you, I, I'm, I'm rambling right now because I just love the Virgo. But, you know, you we have to go within. Oh, divine companion, that's what I just put. Okay, but hold on, let me, I have a thought. We have to go within, you know, our trump card is the hermit. Okay, introspection, solitude time. And, and you know, as the Virgo, um, virgin is is what she's known and the maiden virgin you know be delicate like that in your thoughts okay we we don't want to go into what this knight was thinking too much crazy okay we want to go be delicate and gentle was a, a a strong word closing down 2016 be gentle be gently gentle gently so let's just keep that you know forward movement in a good pace where we can receive the messages, okay? And here we have a divine... Oh, wait a minute. I got two of my hands. <laughs> oh, well, these are brand new, so they kind of, like, you, you, they're not touched yet. Okay, so we have two. Let's read them both, okay? So, I count... This is the first one, a divine companion. I count myself fortunate to be my own companion on life's journey. I am interested by my thoughts, and perceptions. I am conscious of the many gifts I bring to living. My stamina, there you go, determination, stamina with that chariot card. My stamina, my humor, my perceptivity, and my integrity. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, a divine companion. And then the melody, the melody of your life could be this. The song of life is infinite and variable. Its melodies and harmonies hold infinite possibilities. I am both the listener and the song. I am both the composer and the note. Oh, wow. Okay, my dear. How oh, darling. Deal it up. Right, look at that. A new love has come through too already. So we have this new love coming through. This has been that soulmate twin flame deal. I, I keep... It's just been crazy. So believe, believe in you first, okay? Because that's what we've been talking about to, you know, to, you have to love you first, my darlings, for that soul connection to, you know, if you don't love your own soul, how's that soul mate twin flame going to come through it, right? So believe in you, love you first, okay? Go on this chariot ride, take it and, and, and. Make it run fast, okay? Feel it. But this is you in balance with the dark and the light. So feel it. 
make it happen. And then let all this beautiful, you know, ten of earth, the the family home front is here, loving. The celebration is here, loving, okay? And trust, the judgment is always here. You know, there's no free rides, my friends. So pay attention to your life's journey. But this is a beautiful reading. And look at the waterfall in the background. I just noticed that those mountains again. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, darlings. Stay determined. Ride wild, okay? Ride wild with your energy. But focused and determined. But ride wild. Okay? Feel that freedom. Feel that wind through your hair. Okay? Wild and free. I love you all. Thank you for watching. And all my new subscribers and my commenters. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much love. Enjoy this April. Get outside. Okay? And stay determined. Love you. Ciao.